In this video, I'm going to show you how to composite your studio photographs into a different environment. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Thruvel here and welcome to another video by Tutorialist Junction. And as you can see, this is the final output. Now let's get a look at the model. So this is the model we will be using, the right side pose. Uh, and this is the building that we will use for the compositing. Okay, first of all, uh, let's look at the final output one more time pretty nice now let's go to the model uh, we don't need the left left pose so let's just crop it out so grab your crop tool from here uh, and then I'm gonna go and remove it something like this uh, and confirm it we don't need this uh, grab your move tool and then I'm gonna press ctrl a to make selection of the model then I'm gonna press ctrl c to copy it uh, go to my building layer here and then press ctrl v to paste it uh, now this document is not needed anymore so I'm gonna go and close it uh, no I don't need to save it okay this is nice now let's make the model a bit smaller uh, I'm gonna press ctrl T and when I make it smaller I'm gonna hold my shift key so let's go and make him smaller something like this okay that's way too small uh, this should be fine let's uh, put him in the middle okay that's nice let's make it a little bit smaller so we can remove the background properly confirm it okay now we have to remove the background but before that let's flip him so ctrl t right click flip horizontal so we get the idea confirm it uh, now i'm gonna go right click here and get a quick selection tool uh, you can use uh, uh, pen tool i use that in my original file which is best uh, but it's pretty easy image So as you can see selection is done it's pretty easy image uh, but uh, as you can see here in the fingers we need to remove some parts so for that i'm gonna right click here and switch to my magnetic lasso so i'm gonna go and also make sure that when you use this uh, you have to remove selection so select this third option and then let's go and remove this So it did pretty good job now let's zoom out uh, the final selection is done now let's apply the layer mask so go and click on this little icon here and it will apply the mask uh, now go back and select your move tool uh, and move the model exactly the way you want so the pose and basic composition is ready now let's add some shadow because since the hand is here we need contact shadow and since he is here this building would be pretty dark compared to others so grab your brush tool uh, right click uh, and let's go make sure hardness is 0% uh, and in the opacity here as you can see uh, I'm gonna go and make it somewhere around like 16% uh, that's nice uh, and create a layer under your model so hold your control key and click on this uh, little icon here second last and it will create a layer under your model uh, then go and make a uh, brush a little bit bigger and paint on this building here okay that's the wrong color we need shadow so let's go with black color and do the painting and when you get close to the hand uh, make sure you do couple more strokes and make the shadows way darker uh, compared to this downward part that's looking pretty good uh, now let's go and rename this so we don't get confused okay shadows are done now let's do some color matching uh, so for that uh, we need selection of the model so hold your control key and click on this layer mask here so you got selection of the model we good now activate your background layer this one and then press ctrl j now if i turn everything else off you can see i have this copy of the background so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this copy on top of my model. So go and select all of this uh, and then let's go and put it on top of the model and let's name it uh, CC for color correction. Uh, okay, so this is done, right? Uh, you can't see it for now, but we have this really nice outline. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to filter, blur, and then I'm gonna go and apply the average blur. So it will create average color of the all the data that's good now go and change its blending mode to color uh, that's nice and then change the opacity somewhere around like 20 to 25 percent uh, so i think 26 looks good now if i zoom in and if i turn it on and off as you can see the skin tone uh, let's look at it properly 
it matches with the background and this is one of the most reliable methods so you can go and keep it somewhere like 30 uh, should be nice perfect let's zoom out and move on also you have to make it a clipping mask i will show you why right click here uh, and where is it create a clipping mask then go and create another adjustment layer and this time select color balance uh, and then go and turn it into a clipping mask so because we first created this one into a clipping mask uh, it will follow this one and any changes we do here it will only affect the model so you can understand so we have full control over what kind of correction we do uh, so i'm gonna go and keep it somewhere around like minus 20 these are my midtones and the prism luminosity is turned off uh, and also add a little bit of red always be careful when you add the red because it can look good for a while but then ruin it uh, so I'm gonna same do uh, gonna do same to the highlights uh, add a little bit of yellow not too much uh, and then a tiny bit of red not too much uh, let's give it two three uh, and let's keep it somewhere around like minus seven uh, looks nice go and close it now let's look at the after before okay that's nice Now we have to cover this half of the model a little bit darker because the light will come from here so this should be brighter and this should be darker or at best they should be even. Uh, so I'm gonna go and create a new blank layer, right click and turn it into clipping mask so anything I paint will only stay on model. Now let's name it or rename it. Uh, and just like the building, uh, go and select a brush tool and in the color I'm gonna go and make it black uh, and let's flip it. So this is my uh, color, I'm gonna go and start painting here uh, and also in opacity try to keep it somewhere around like 10% okay that's nice and let's start painting okay we did a little bit too much but luckily we can go and reduce the opacity so try to keep it minimum uh, and make sure it blends really nice as you can see now the impact is way less uh, of that light so we try to keep it a little bit on even side uh, this and this so this is perfectly fine now sun is going to be here as you can see so we need a little bit of rim lighting for that go and create a new blank layer my regular subscribers should know how to do it uh, so i'm gonna go and rename it to rim light uh, and let's create a clipping mask right click uh, and create a clipping mask now we have to do a little bit painting it's pretty easy uh, so as you can see in my color uh, i have a really whitish desaturated tone of bright orange as you can see this is the orange and this is the tone i'm using uh, similar to sun uh, so hit ok then go and start painting on the edges and since it's a clipping mask you don't have to worry too much Cool, now go and change its blending mode to vivid light so it will give you this really nice uh, orange color uh, and then I'm gonna go and change the opacity somewhere around like 70% so it blends in really nice. Now it's good everywhere but here it's a little bit too much. So the biggest advantage is it's separate layer so you can simply just go and select your eraser, make sure hardness is 0% and then you can just go and erase it if you don't like it, all the freedom. Now to make it more realistic we have to add a little bit of more uh, following light to the rim light. So for that create new blank layer it's just the same deal uh, let's name it. Right click and create a clipping mask so it stays on the model pretty easy stuff you know grab the brush tool uh, and then you, know, you can pick up any color from here. So I'm gonna go and pick up a little bit color something like this uh, nice. Now go and paint on this part of the image this time it should be pretty big once this is done simply just go and change your blending mode to color now if i turn it on and off we have this really nice effect but it needs some little bit of opacity reduction so go and keep it down somewhere around here uh, so i think 33 percent now if i turn it on and off uh, it gives it this really nice blending uh, you can increase it a little bit uh, so I think let's keep it 40 so now if I turn it on and off it gives it this really subtle mixture of lighting now colors and lighting are fine but as you can see the contrast of the model is way too much compared to background so we can fix that go and create a new blank layer and get a selective color uh, and create a clipping mask 
now to remove the contrast first of all let's just simply go and start with the blacks uh, and then i'm going to grab this slider a little bit on this way uh, so as you can see now the contrast has started like getting really close to the background since the blacks are lifted up let's try minus it uh, then i'm going to go back to my neutrals and add a little bit of that back four is fine so it's not way too flat you know uh, and you can also add a little bit of yellow let's go to black uh, and add a little bit of yellow not too much let's try i don't know let's try three pixel should be fine uh, and then let's go to neutrals uh, and then here i'm gonna go and make it a slightly bit negative so it doesn't look orangish too much so balancing things out looks pretty good uh, then go and close it so the setup is ready now let's go and add some lens flare and lighting effects so for that go and create a new blank layer uh, grab your paint bucket tool and the color should be absolute black fill it go to filter render and here lens flare uh, my favorite one is third one because it has the least detail so i'm gonna go and keep it somewhere around here we can judge where the flare will be uh, pretty okay uh, let's go and hit okay uh, after that i'm gonna go and change its blending mode to screen then go and grab your move tool from here and keep the sun a little bit here now i don't want this uh, thingy here so i'm gonna just get the eraser and get rid of it uh, something like this okay now let's go and make it orange so go to image adjustment and go to hue saturation make it colorize oh my god i do it in every video <laughs> Uh, so go and increase the saturation a little bit uh, and we have to make it orange so it blends in really nice with the background and okay that's perfect uh, and you can add a little bit more saturation i think now nah, we will add it in add in later so this is good uh, then go and hit okay now i'm going to show you a way to make it even more brighter <laughs> here's a trick uh, it's same thing go and create a new blank layer grab your brush tool uh, and you have to pick up a color so you can hold your alt key and pick up any color from here uh, so i'm gonna go and pick up a color close to here something like it perfect now go and do a click on a different layer okay don't forget this one uh, then go and do a click uh, and then start changing your blending mode so i always start with color touch uh, okay not working let's try screen uh, okay that's giving it a little bit more impact uh, and let's try vivid light okay so i think screen is the best okay screen it is now let's make it a little bit bigger so Control t uh, hold your alt key and make it a bit bigger and then a bigger little bit bigger from this side uh, and then you can adjust it if you think it didn't do anything let's turn it on and off see the impact it gives now let's add a little bit more contrast so for that go and create new adjustment layer and select curves uh, i'm gonna make it a little bit brighter from here uh, and then let's go and make it darker from here so we have this really cool contrast and let's lift up the shadows a little bit so they are more faded uh, that's nice now let's go to the blues and let's lift it up a little bit uh, and let's add a little bit of yellow i think we can go a little bit heavy with yellows since we have really nice sun and it will look nice perfect go and close it now let's add a gradient so for that create new adjustment layer and go to gradients here in the color make it black uh, the same thing i do in every manipulation it's the standard procedure i always follow so go and make it black it should be absolute black and it's foreground to transparent uh, hit ok and here make it radial uh, and let's make it reverse so it's on the outside uh, let's make it a little bit bigger uh let's try somewhere on like let's try 300 okay that's perfect hit okay then go and change its blending mode to soft light so now if i turn it on and off you can see it gives a really nice uh overall vignette now let's go and add a little bit of fog effect so it's super easy go and create a new blank layer from here grab your brush tool and the color should be absolute white perfect uh, and make sure your brush is super big something like this and then you just go and simply paint and that that's your fog effect uh, it's not very good method but it works on this image that's why i'm showing you okay uh, so that's done and now we have to crop the image because i, I think it doesn't look uh, in the proportion right now 
So I'm just gonna grab a crop tool and grab a little bit of from the top uh, and then let's go zoom in. And then I'm gonna crop a little bit from here, somewhere around, okay, that looks nice. Uh, and let's a bit from here. Perfect, now go and confirm it. And now let's make everything a little bit more colorful. So for that, first of all, select the move tool. Then go to adjustment layer and select vibrance and add a bunch of vibrance. So you have this really nice colorful effect and it looks more lively. Uh, so I think 60, 64 is good. Let's turn it on and off. Perfect. And also let's go and reduce the opacity of fog a little bit. It's way too much. So I think 60% uh, is fine. So this is the base image and this is the compositing we did. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did, hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, ask me in comment section below. And if you want to check out more tutorials by me, you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel. So every time I upload a new video, you will get the update plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my YouTube channel where I have tons of Photoshop tutorials just waiting for you. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.